RPGs and Battlebit are a very strong weapon. Whether they're being used to annihilate infantry or destroy vehicles, they pack a punch and are one of the strongest weapons in the game. To first understand RPGs, it is important that we break them down into the three types. First, we have the Fragmentation RPG. It is supposed to be the best RPG to use on infantry, but I don't feel that's the case. Although you can use it, I don't recommend it for any kind of personnel. It has a really low structure damage and doesn't even scratch vehicles, so it's not that good and I wouldn't even recommend using it for anything. Secondly, we have the Heat Explosive, and Heat stands for High Explosive Anti-Tank. Although it's not amazing against tanks, it is acceptable. The main purpose of it is to deal with enemy infantry, it does that really well. And it's also meant to do some big damage to any unarmored vehicle. It can one-shot ATVs, and usually one-shot Humvees, but it might take two. It is also a super high structural damage, and it opens up the map really well against, you know, if you use it on a building. And this is the one I use the most. I have a couple hundred kills with it. Super strong. Lastly, there is the Tandem RPG. It sucks against infantry. I've gotten a few kills with it at point blank, but only when you hit the person directly. It doesn't have any splash against them, but it'll destroy any vehicle and any vehicle. It does 60 to 70 damage against tanks, depending on where you hit them, and it can two-shot them and will also one-shot any un unarmored vehicle. Uh, like, Humvees just die, they don't have a chance, but it can also take out tanks very well. I've died to 10 of a lot in tanks, and it doesn't feel good. You just gotta take caution with aiming, though, because the added weight for the warhead causes the drop-offs to be really steep, and the max you can even get is 200 meters, and that's with really weird aiming, so I don't recommend trying to snipe anything with it, but if you're up close, like within 50 to 100 meters, you will destroy the stuff that you aim at. Both the Fragmentation and Heat Explosive come with a scoped variant called the RPG-7 PG-07 variant. The scopes allow you to have more precise aim, especially when paired with a rangefinder. There's no drawback to the scope besides it being larger on your screen, so I recommend that you always use the scope variant. Each RPG has its own drop-off characteristics, so let's take a look at those. The Fragmentation RPG and Heat Explosive have identical drop-offs, with the center of the big crosshair being 50 meters, the top of the big crosshair being point blank or zero meters, down to the small crosshair, the center of that will be 100 meters, and every tick from there being another 100 meters. So the two hash would be 200 meters, three hash, 300, and so forth. The 1.5 and two hashes represent 1,500 and 2,000 meters, although that surpasses the maximum range before the rocket despawns at 500 meters. So don't really worry with those hashes. Now, as mentioned earlier, the tandem scope is a little different because the 3 hash represents a 50 meter drop off, the 1 hash represents 100 meters, and that's the 1 hash at the bottom middle of the scope, the 1.5 represents 150 meters, and the 2 represents 200 meters. Now, that's the 1.5 and 2 at the bottom of the scope, not at the top in that little grid area. And you gotta be careful when using the tandem because I've thrown away a lot of shots due to poor aim with it because of how hard the drop offs are to get used to. Next, we need to talk about ammo count. The Fragmentation RPG has 4 shots, the Heat Explosive 6 shots, and the Tandem 3 shots. The fact that the Heat Explosive has so many shots while still being the best RPG in other aspects, such as structure damage and infantry damage, it really goes to show why it is the best overall RPG, and why Fragmentations are out of the picture, and Tandems are just too specialized to be useful in most scenarios. So really you should only switch to them if a tank spotted and it pops up on the map, or you guys are a tank hunting crew, you got your Humvee, got your guys with C4s, vehicle grenades, vehicle mines and everything, then you can all have tandems, maybe one person with a heat for smaller vehicles or infantry, and you guys can take out just about anything. That's a really cool thing you can do, and I'm going to get on to tank hunting crews in the next section. What is a tank hunting crew? A tank hunting crew is usually made up of two or more people, although it can be done with just one person. Let's call you person A and everyone else B through D. Person A can bring binoculars for spotting at distances, as well as a heat explosive to deal with unarmored vehicles and infantry along the way. Person B through D should bring C4 and tandem rounds to deal with tanks. If you want, someone can have a smoke grenade launcher, and that can be used to shoot a smoke at the tank to kind of blind the gunners so they can't see out. Everyone should be in a vehicle. Armor transport like LAV or BTR will work well. Humvees also do work pretty fine, but you'll need to take more caution because you can't withstand any hits from the tank. First, you gotta spot the tank, get about 100 meters away from it, and get closer if you're in something armored, again, like an LAV or BTR, and have everyone get out of the vehicle. You're gonna wanna stay behind cover, slowly approach, and at the last minute, just rush the tank and blast it. 
You want it to have as little reaction time as possible to get the most chance of it being destroyed and you not being killed. Another thing you can do is put anti-vehicle mines blocking the road and, I don't know, stand in the middle of the road, shoot an RPG at the tank, get the turret to lock onto you, and then rush behind cover. And what hopefully happens is that tank pursues you, goes on the road, and just walks straight into the mines, blows itself and its crew up. So that's usually how tank hunting crews can work. There's other ways to get them, other ways to work with them, other methods, but those are some that I find to be cool and they should work out. All right, that is the full guide on how to use RPGs, going from fragmentations, which you shouldn't be using, to heat explosives, which you should almost always be using, all the way up to tandems, and how to use them with tank hunting crews and different use cases for them. So hopefully you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Thank you.